I'm Dave Bosco, and this is Bosco 411. Today, we're talking about car facts. If you have a question you want answered on this show, you can go to our Facebook page or our website at Bosco411.com. This is like so awesome. Uh, got a question about a car facts. Hey, uh, this guy bought a vehicle, right? Clean Carfax. <clears throat> Bought it from this guy, and not from a dealership. Bought it from random person. We know what Craigslist is, right? Watch it. Okay. So there's a Carfax. This guy uh, had a Carfax on the car, and everything looked good. Now you have to remember, there's other things that are like Carfax out there. Okay, it's not just Carfax. I'm using Carfax because it's just everybody knows what Carfax is. So. Sorry, Carfax, you're kind of just stuck here. Carfax collects their information through different motor vehicle databases if they can access those, okay? Insurance companies. Let's say an insurance company uh, submits that uh, the car was totaled, okay? Then that's going to go on the Carfax, some people may even look on a Carfax and look at the people that had this vehicle in the past. Now, this is where you want to start doing your research. Get the VIN number, pay a little bit of money, get a Carfax. Check some things out. Look at the back history of it because you're going to see different owners, okay, if there's multiple owners, and this seller is telling you, well, I'm the only one that ever owned a car. You'll have an idea of what's there. Look at it. See if look and see if it says manufacturer vehicle. Okay? That right there will tell you Lemon Law. Okay? Did a vehicle or did, did a vehicle. Did a video on Lemon Law. Okay? You want to look for these specific things because a manufacturer just doesn't put a vehicle or title a vehicle in their name because they want to. They don't do that. Okay? They don't even do that when the vehicle's new has a certificate of origin. So you want to look at that, okay? Carfax may not have every detail because somebody might not have reported it. Let's say that you have two Honda Civics and you're driving down the road one day and somebody plows into the front of your car and just wipes it completely out, okay? So you park it at home, you get in your Honda Civic, the very next day, you get rear-ended by Richard Cranium, who's got no insurance. You only had liability on your car, okay? Insurance company's not going to do anything for you at that point. So now you're just going to get this vehicle towed home. You still have the title. Your insurance company, somebody else's insurance company, okay, this Jacko didn't have insurance, so the car is still in your possession. You're pretty much out of luck when you don't have full coverage when something like this happens. So you take the front end off the one car, okay? You have two totaled vehicles. You take the front end off of one car and put it on the other car. Maybe you gotta do some cutting, some welding, this and that. Now, you have two total cars you still have the original titles to them. Uh, insurance company hasn't reported to anybody that the car was totaled because they weren't involved in the transaction. Because there was no transaction. You didn't have full coverage. You rebuild this car and then you sell it. It's still going to show a clean Carfax. So when you're buying a used vehicle or something, pay attention. Look at different things. Look at the paint is different. Look at the at the welds if they if they look weird, you know, like none of the welds in the back look the same as in the front. Carfax can't pick up everything, and sometimes they can't even pick up everything. I mean, they're definitely not going to pick that up because nobody's reported it. Now, if the insurance company totals the car, you have full coverage, they're going to brand that title as being totaled, okay? So now it's going to change 
the upper portion of this title to say uh, totaled vehicle or if it was rebuilt or whatever, reconstructed. Um, you know, these are the things you have to look for. Don't just solely rely on a Carfax report. Because, I mean, it's just like flood vehicles, okay? Did a video about flood vehicles. These are things you have to look at. If it says flood vehicle on it, there's, there's things that you need to look for, okay? Because some of this stuff isn't a deal breaker, okay? If you have a reconstructed title, uh, it could have been reconstructed back the correct way. There might not be anything wrong with that car. But in some states and some insurance companies might not, you might not be able to get insurance on that car because it might be deemed unsafe. So don't just say, I've got a Carfax. You d make sure that the Carfax is current and make sure you do your homework on the vehicle. Don't just rely on somebody saying, I got my piece of paper right here. It's, it's, you're good, man. You're good. Check over the car. Carfax is great, but they don't pick up everything. Don't fall into the hole. Don't get screwed when buying a car. This is Bosco 411. If you like that video, hit the subscribe button and check out the other videos on our channel.